Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 20. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. That's very good. Some very clever names for races. The amount of names that they had to think of for this game, though, for each individual race. And they've got so many different clubs as well. I have just realized we're gonna have to buy every single car in the game to make sure that we can get into every single club. Crap. But uh, not every single car has, like, their own exclusive club. I think I'm definitely for A-Class going to be driving a Pagani Zonda and a Jaguar. And alternating between the two. Because I think I might just, like, get two cars this time. Turn right. That was very good. Yeah, because if I get two cars, then I can alternate between the two, because I know both of them are quick, because I've driven them in this game before. At the next intersection, turn right. right. Turn Here we right. go. Where's the turn corner? Right. Here it is. We are now halfway through this race. Again, we're at golf course. Are we going to get away from the golf course at any point? Nice. Oh, nearly lost it there. Uh, it's a point-to-point -point race with no off-road penalties. We can cut corners. That's not a problem. Oh, we've got the AI car. He's not letting go. Bad. Accelerate. What are you doing? Don't try and put us in the wall. No wonder he's doing decent. He's actually the exact same car as us. Oh, that was close. Come on. And across the line. That is how it's done. Oh, nice. We've won an Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione, which I think is a C-class car. Um, but that would be very good to drive for a couple of C-Class events. I know we've still got some left to unlock, so... Your itinerary is being recalculated. Awesome. And we're just outside of a club. But we've got a 3.7 miles. Where is that sending us to? To a random speed trap up there for E-Class. No, thank you. I feel like I'm going to do something else. Maybe this one. Time trial. B-Class Restriction, 14.6 miles. Let's do that. Right, so we are going to be taking this Lamborghini Miura for the event. Uh, it is B-Class. Um, it is the slowest B-Class car that we have. But I want to give it a drive. Um, because, again, it's a Miura. So we're going to do it for the first event. 14.6 miles, one lap for 56,000 credits. Let's go. I do like the Lamborghini Miura quite a bit. It's a very nice car. Very fun to drive. And uh, we are going against six of them, so it's not too much of a problem. Because it is a uh, one mate race now. And off we go.
all I can hear is Lamborghinis everywhere. Um, this is an upgraded Miura as well, so it can hit nearly 200 miles an hour. Um, but listen to those engines. They did a good job on the Miura. Let's put it that way. The Miura is special in this game. And it suits the island's sort of aesthetic. Sort of luxurious. As much as I... When I grew up, I hated classic cars. They were like, ugh. But the Miura is one of those cars that just grows on me. Honestly. Like, it's stunning. I love it. Big time. It's not too fast either. It's sort of a nice... It's quick. But you can take it for a nice cruise. I'd love to... There are so many cars I'd love to drive. And they're mostly in these video games. But they are like cars that have meaning behind them. The Miura is one of those top cars I want to drive. The Miura and the Bugatti Veyron. And a Skyline just because it's my dream car. An R34. If I could get a drive in an R34, oh, it would be amazing. I'd love to own one one day. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, awesome. There are electrical pylons everywhere. Got to watch out for those. This is good fun, though. Nice. This is very good. Very clean racing going on. I'm not too sold on the grey colour that we got this mirror in. Um, I know this game sort of gives you a random colour. And you have to go to a paint shop if you want to change it. I don't know whether I'm sold on it. On silver. I mean, it does look good anyways, no matter what. But uh, whether I'm sold on the silver yet, not 100% sure. Nice. Nice, nice, ah, come on, come on. Keep it going. Nice. Look at that drift. That was amazing. This is a stunning car. I think I'm going to keep driving this today. I was going to take this car and then swap back to like a Gallardo or something. Because I was worried it was going to be difficult. But if they're all like one make races... I'm going to take this Mura for the rest of this race. It's a little bit slower as well. So it's not like I'm going to end up finishing the race within like two minutes either. It's going to take me a genuine race length. Genuine amount of time. Honestly though, don't know how much longer is left in this race. Sort of lost track. At least it wasn't a time trial, though, because I can now use other cars to uh, sort of push me forward if I do get behind. Uh, whereas time trial, if I mess up, ugh. heart in the throat moment, that is. Butterflies in the stomach moment. Whoa. Okay, cool. Not quite at the midway point just yet.
There we go, halfway. Nice. Oh no. Not good. How do we get back up? How do we get back up? How do you return to track? There's got to be a way to return to track if you did this. That was a big mistake though. And I got that on recording as well. <laughs> uh oh. Went around that corner a little too aggressive. God, it's warm in my room. Jesus. I need to open the window. I think my window got shut. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. 203. That's more than the uh, actual predicted speed. 210, nearly. Can we get 210? No. Nope. <laughs> Cocked that up big time. I thought we could take it around that corner that powerful, but no. Not quite. This is awesome. These are two very short checkpoints there. Racing for seven minutes and 25 seconds now. What's it look like with the lights on? Oh, that looks stunning. It genuinely looks like a happy frog. But it's one of those cars that genuinely looks beautiful. Like, I know my common, like, if a car looks horrible, I call it a dead frog. This looks like a happy frog. Full of life. Oh, there's the finish line. Oh, not great. There we go, though. And across the line. Hallelujah. Sure has been unlocked. Okay, cool. Eight minutes, two seconds, point seven eight zero. Very nice. Let's go to the next event. Right, so this is now the Hallelujah. Sure. Uh, this race is 5.9 miles per lap. Roughly six, actually. And it's four laps. So this is a long race. Um, if you think the Aston Martin, which was probably about the same speed as this, managed to do this distance for three laps in about nine minutes. So this is going to take at least 12, 13. So this is a big race. But we're in the Lamborghini Miura. You can't... You can't not enjoy this. It's a Miura. The nice car. Oh, come on. Not off the road please. I did just crash into the back of his car. Um, saying, <laughs> and his car. Saying, oh, it's a nice car. And then just destroy it. But this is a classic. This is one of the few cars that I, that are classics that I absolutely love. Um, again, I'll drive classics in racing games just to give them a try. But doesn't always mean that I like them at all. Um, I know Gran Turismo 4, you sort of get forced to drive a lot of older cars at the start. At the next intersection, it's not great. Um, but yes, there are quite a lot of classic cars that I like. The uh, Volkswagen bus, the, the classic one, the original one. That's a nice one. Um, uh, Miura. Bugatti EB110. It's quite nice because it was revolutionary at the time. And McLaren F1. I do like a good Dodge Challenger, too. Uh, 
they are very nice dodge challengers. Not too keen on the other muscle cars though. I think the challenger is the one that I like. Mostly because of Fast and Furious, I think. But uh, the challenger is a very good car. Halfway through checkpoints wise, don't know about length wise though. That's not great. Spun out. That's good. By the end of this race, I think we'll be at uh, 30 miles on our distance, so maybe a bit more, I'm not sure. This car does have speed. It's not a couch potato. Awesome. I like that. Right, slow down, slow down. This is a hairpin, so uh, need to make sure we get around that at least. Just waiting for cars to uh, appear on the mini map, and so far they're not. There we go. Only just started to appear, but we have done our lap in two minutes fifty-eight seconds, and we got uh, three more of those to do. So my guess of about 12 minutes was kind of close, but we will see. I might have to sit back for this race. This is very good. Kawaii Loa Beach. I think that's what that says. I'm not very good with these foreign names. I try my best. And I always butcher them. I'm British. We always uh, butcher our for foreign languages. Always mandatory. Ah, no, 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 no. Awesome. Ah, uh, no. Okay, that's not ideal. Nice! 150 drift points around that corner. Two thirds of the way through this lap now. Oh, not great. Go, 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 accelerate. That is the problem with uh, the Lamborghini Miura. With it being like a classic supercar, its first gear seems to be really long. Um, and a lot of old cars with power had very long first gears for some reason. Uh, nowadays, you see sort of that length, but for a much faster car, much more lightweight car. Which is very strange. You normally see like BMWs nowadays. Yes, they have seven gears, but they also have an extra, what, 50 miles an hour than a Lamborghini Miura. 50 is a bit exaggerated. And most of the time, the 7th gear isn't used for acceleration or racing. It's used for cruising. You're normally... You think... Um, the Ford Raptor... I think it has like 8 or 10 gears. I'm not sure. But you would only ever use like the first 6 for racing in Forza. Oh, not good. Oh, we are on our third lap now. That's decent. You think the Aston Martin DB9, or DB11, sorry, the new one, has eight gears. You only use seven of them for racing. And the last seventh one, 
barely even accelerating it. Eight maintains your speed. That's all it can do. It doesn't accelerate whatsoever. At the next intersection, turn right. I would love to see one day. I don't know whether they could do it. For them to remaster this game, add a couple of like extra graphic enhancements. Just this version, not like TDU PS3. This exact version, enhance it and bring it out on, I mean, I don't think they bring it out on PS5, but like iPhone, stuff like that. That'd be awesome. It's capable of running on a phone. It's just my phone's rubbish. There's no other way of putting it, it's just rubbish. I need a more, if I was to run this on it, I mean, I don't need to, but you would probably have to get like a super powerful, like modern phone. Something like S20 or something like that. But, eh, it's fine. I got a PS2 now, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh, I've missed that corner up twice in a row. How do I manage that? I mean, I have got a huge lead on the rest of the pack. But how do you manage that? That is insane. Here we go. Come on. Ah, no. I've done it again. I keep going wide. This car isn't the uh, easiest to handle, but it doesn't matter when it's this fun to drive. And hairpin corner coming up. Perfect. Right, we have one more lap left to go. got some groovy tunes as well. There we go, 794,000 points. That number's rapidly increasing. Once we hit a million, it's going to be fun and games from there on out. Maximum horsepower. Brain power. Bum, ba -da -ba -da -da -da. I remember that song. Awesome. At the next intersection, turn right. Woohoo! That's pretty sick. Right, here we go, here we go, come on. Right, we've hit the 10 minute mark. We've got probably about two minutes left of this race. Maybe less if we uh, don't mess up the corners this time. I know we've messed them up quite a few times. See if we can get a perfect lap. That would be decent if we can. Okay, we've gone off a bit. But it's not like the end of the world. Not like the other laps where we crashed big time. Awesome. Go, go, go. Right, we've got about a minute left. We didn't mess up this corner, so that's a plus. GG's all round. And we didn't mess up that corner either.
Right, head pink corner coming up. Ah, slow down, slow down, slope, 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 slow. There we go. And here's the finish. Come on. Let's get below 12 minutes. There we go. Oh, we got another race. 11 minutes, 52.866 that took. That was a long race. 82,000 credits and 20,000 master points. Let's go to the next event. See where this one is. Where are you today? This is a straight line race and there's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought there was no road then. 12.1 uh, miles for one lap and 54,000 credits. Let's go. Are you going to load? Yes. Here we go. I think that stutter was just like, you what, mate? <laughs> PlayStation has feelings. Here we go. Oh, I do look like the look of that green mirror. I also like the look of that purple. But then I like the look of our silver as well. It's a tough choice with this car. It sort of suits anything. I think it's very rare for a car to make me want it in multiple colours. Like, I could genuinely, like... Oh, it's just an amazing car. I mean, the uh, Aventador was a bit of a disappointment for the past 10 years. I mean, they've made... Oh. You are driving in the wrong direction. Yeah, I gathered that. Back on track. I wonder what Lamborghini are actually going to do for the next car. Because the Aventador has had its time. It's been 10 years. It's the longest they've ever ran a car for. Ooh. This is not great. This race hasn't gone well at all. It's quite short as well. So um, we're going to have to try and regain that pretty quickly. Now there's no bumps, I feel like we could get those positions back. If this pink, purpley colored mural will get out of my way. You don't need to slow down that much for a corner, trust me. That's why the AI is a little bit easier to beat in this game than other games. Awesome. Go, go, go. Nice. Ah, uh, we got some nice hairpin corners coming up. Oh. Overshot that corner there. Come on, come on. Oh, 124 points. Awesome. Very nice. Oh, we got a hairpin corner here. Smooth and steady wins the race. And here we go. I think this is now the halfway point.
Oh no, 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 no. That's not how. <laughs> how did that work? We went flying through the air there. Perfect. We got 200 airtime points as well. Nice. I'll take that. There's a little bit of like stuttering that goes on with this game. Sort of like freezes for a millisecond. But honestly, the freezing isn't enough to ruin the experience. Very nice. Checkpoint. Just hit the five minute mark. Oh no. It's like we're wall riding again. I do that way too much in this game. Awesome. Oh no, I've tapped the button. Perfect. Here's the finish line. And across the line. Congratulations, you've won a Chrysler Firepower concept car. That is nice. I like that. Five minutes of 43.956. We're gonna have to find out what that car is actually. At some point. Your itinerary is being recalculated. But there we go, that is That's another event done. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.